Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So this video is about Inktober for me. I took part in Inktober, which I've never ever done it before because I didn't have the confidence because I'm not that great at drawing and the last two years I think I've been trying to teach myself to draw but um, my main things that I like to do is sculpting and sewing. So I haven't really uh, practiced a great deal with me drawing, but I really enjoyed the Inktober. I mean, I was very far behind and I never finished on the 31st. I was a day over because uh, with work and stuff, I couldn't uh, draw every day. So when I had me days off, I was doing about four sketches. Um, Yes, but I really enjoyed it. It really pushed me um, to try different things. And it just pushed me to practice and draw, basically. Um, so I didn't do all the prompts on here because I, I've looked at previous lists and they looked very good. And I, I didn't really like this list. So what I did, I went on, was it Pinterest? And just um, chose a few lists and then combined them. Mainly it was things that I would like to draw. So here's the list here. I've um, just put a dash besides the ones. No, it isn't. Wait, oh, yeah, just pause you for a sec. Oh, just a little error. So I put a dash besides the ones that were actually in Inktober 2022, but number nine wasn't. It was Nest. So probably just a few little mistakes, but it doesn't matter. Um, so. This is going to be disorganised, but what I'll do is I'll pause you every now and again because I didn't use one book to do everything. Uh, when an idea came to mind, I just grabbed anything that was at hand to do the sketch, the doodle in. And on some of them, I have traced my design and put it onto watercolour paper or mixed media or marker paper. But sometimes I just left it in the book and just use pencil on it or a light wash of watercolour. Wherever I was in the mood to at the time. So I will start with enough babbling on. Number one. Right, number one, which was gargoyle. Um, the paper, um, as you can see bled through the other side um it's not a uh, marker paper um ink for inks i used inks um it did go through the other side but i think this paper's held up pretty good um it took me ages to sketch this so i kept on uh, as you can see there's loads of i was going to put it on mixed media paper but i decided just to leave it here and because I wanted, I was going to just do it in one book, but I didn't. But um, yes, I'm quite pleased with that. So that's gargoyle. Do I need to go in a bit more? No, too far. Yes, so there's not more I can say about that. Um, scurry. Right. Scurry. This is a man with no face, well, a demon man, um, chopping a lot of mice and rats up and they're all scurrying about. I mean, I was going to do, try and do the blood better. Um, Beck's cutest voodoo uh, in her art, it's really amazing. And uh, when she's doing blood, it just looks so realistic. Anyway, I tried to do it and I couldn't. More practice is needed. But um, yes, can't say much more about that one. Scurry. Bat. Pause you. There, this is bat. Just a basic bat. But I was doing a lot of um, blood moons. I mean, that's not great. Um, there's no markings for where the meteorites have crashed into it craters you know what i mean but i really enjoyed doing that i've never drew a bat like this before and 
as I say, the paper withstand, withstood the ink. Yeah, so I can't remember what ink did I use. I don't know if it was Oz Karen Indian ink. Oh, I can't remember. And then I just done the line work with me pen. So what is next? I better put this to one side so I don't get confused. Gremlin. Hey, so I unorganized. Um, this is Gremlin. Um, I just put some, what was it, green ink and this like yellowy thing to try and mix it up a bit, but it's just a basic wash. But I'm pretty pleased with that. Not much more I can say about that. Flame. There we go. This is Flame. So I just drew a um, sketched out a Zippo lighter. And this was very awkward to do. Because I had to draw the um, full lighthouse picture as one. And then cut it at here and then sketch it on a separate piece. Oh, well, it confused me, but I did enjoy it and I quite like this. And what did I use for the flame? I think that was coloured pencils. Yeah, coloured pencils and I blended them with a stump. Yeah, so that's flame. Right, next one, bokeh. Oh, well, that's not in a book. Easy to find. So this is a bokeh. It's on Art yeah, Gecko Marker Paper. Um, as you can see, the ink's not gone through the other side. Really good quality, that paper. Um, and this is the type of bokeh I would like to receive. Because it's very fun. Um like Venus fly traps and I was I was looking at uh, on Pinterest with at um what do they call them seahorses the dragon seahorses and I just liked all these like little wispy bits and stuff um I don't know if the fins are just decoration on the seahorse so I just sketched this uh, like fan type thing I've also used it on for a dragon's tail yeah, so I quite like that. So that's bokeh. What's next? Fish. Oh, yeah. There's not much you can say about that. I did enjoy putting the silver ink on. That was quite nice. But I was wanting to do um, a koi fish. Because they're much more colourful and nice. But I don't know, i just seen this and liked... Um, well, what is it? A trout or something? Oh, it was swimming around. I think it must have been in the sea. I can't remember now. But uh, I just liked its lips. And I thought I would sketch that. Yes, yeah, so that's that. What's the next one? Match. Um, This is a crazy head matchstick. Uh, with flame hair. I mean, I suppose I should have done the face bit like black for the top of the match, but if I did that, the mouth wouldn't have looked so good. So, not very good at drawing faces, but did enjoy that. And I mean, I could have done this better, the flames and that, but I'm happy with it. And that's all what counts at the end of the day. Um, robot. I've been sketching horses. Um, I was going to wanted to do a unicorn, and I just thought it would be fun to do a robot horse. And I was uh, wanting to use the gold ink because I was looking forward to using that uh, mixed with the silver. So I just came up with this design and I'm pretty pleased with that. I put it on um, mixed media paper and as you can see it's only just buckled a little bit. Yeah, I quite enjoyed doing that. 
Next one, Todd. I had an idea in mind to do an art doll of a frog for a toad. So I sketched it out and then I just added some ink on it for colour. Um, I think I used the wrong uh, paper. I think this is uh, acrylic paper, but it worked all right. And as you can see, it's, um, it hasn't buckled the paper at all. Never gone through and it was quite nice to work on even though it's like a bumpy surface. Yeah, so quite like that. Um, Scarecrow. Now I think I've put a bookmark in my book. All my stickers are, well, there my stickers are coming off my book. No. Right. Sure, I marked it. Yeah, here it is. There. Scarecrow. I done this uh, sketch um, a few years ago, but it was just basic, about two years ago. And I was just looking through my sketchbooks for ideas, because my sketchbooks are just like basic sketches. And if I fancy anything out of them, I'll transfer it to some decent paper and maybe put watercolour or something on it. But I've seen it and I uh, just reworked it. I think it looks much better like this. But I didn't want to add any colour on. Um, and I'm not uh, too fussed on greys and blacks. So I just thought I'd just do the line work and leave it like this. Yeah, I was going to do the eyes are red but I just left it and I really enjoyed it reworking me scarecrow picture and there's not a lot more I can say about this but I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, what else? B. There, the B man. I had an idea in mind to create this as an art doll which I will do in the future. I think he's pretty funky. He looks miserable, but that's because he's lost his honey that I never sketched in his hand. Yes, I really enjoyed adding the gold ink, but I didn't want it to be too bright, so I mixed it with water. So it was just to say you could see it was gold, because I wanted the legs to stand out most, his uh, little stock and legs with the gold and the black. The silver on the head, the arms and the wings. I enjoyed that. So that's B. Um, do I have to move along a bit? 13 minutes. Car. Right. I'm not really interested in cars. I mean, I do drive one, but it's just for work. Um, but I've seen this picture of, uh, I think it was 1904. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, it was all straight lines, very square. And I mean, it was a nice car, but um, I th it was a bit too straight for me. So I caved it up a bit, put round windows and put this ski on the top and removed the wheels. Well, in my sketch, I added wheels, but in the finished piece, I just added this. What do you call them? It's like off a toboggan or off Santa's sleigh. Yeah, so... That's that. Um, tower. Oh. Uh, in my mind, it looked absolutely fabulous. But of course, when I come to putting it on paper, it never turned out so good. Um, but I just imagined a tower floating around, not in the sea, in the sky, floating around on a jellyfish. Um, I mean, the top bit worked out what I wanted it to do. But the bottom bit, no. I could have went a bit slower and not used so much water. But quite like the tower. Pleased with that. Uh, armadillo. Really love armadillo. I'm not into really cute things, but uh, those armadillos are just, especially the baby ones, are just really cute. So I thought I'd do this. Um... I just put a few doodles on because uh, 
the uh, bodies are like all these little plates on them and I thought no way am I going to put all that all over here so I just thought it would be fun just to do doodles and like a spotty tail yes quite like that and I love putting the colours on ink so I just done some uh, a bottle of ink and I named it devil's kiss red um uh, I try to add those, what are they called, the gel pens, you know, for like a bit of shine around here, reflection of shine here. And it didn't work out too well, so I tried gouache, gouache, whatever it's called. And, I mean, it's gone all right, I guess. Mm. And then the mistake up here is, because I'm very impatient when I'm painting, I never let the red dry, you see, and the black bled into it, but I don't think it uh, ruins it. I think it looks all right. I was wanting to put some lines up here. Did I add them? I can't. Yeah, I did, but you can't see them. Just the lines for the lid when you, the grippy things. And that's like the dropper. So that's that. Um, Monarch. Pause you again. Monarch. So I chose to do a Monarch butterfly. I'm really pleased with this. Um, I did attempt to do a butterfly following a tutorial on YouTube, a watercolour one. And I mean, it didn't turn out great, but I wasn't disappointed with it. Because I'm not like um, fabulous at watercolours. Well, fabulous at anything really, but I used um, coloured pencils, was it? Yeah, coloured pencils, ink on the legs and the antennae. Um, yes, and I think that's turned out very nice. I think I've captured the colour of the wings. Because it's not like a red, it's like an orangey. Yep, so that's Monarch. Um, I think I've sent you to sleep now. It's like 17 minutes, but... so. I'll do a separate one for me, scroll it over, otherwise the video is going to be too long and you'll be snoozing. So what we're on to now, hand. Yes, I thought hand. I was just going to do a hand um, holding something, but that would be boring. Or doing like, what's that, the love sign. No. So I thought I'd do a, like a jack-in-a-box hand, but not so much the spring, the bone. And a severed hand. Because um, in mind I had uh, to use graphy tint. I absolutely love those pencils. And the green. I think it's the moss green. Absolutely stunning. And what I did was just scribble it down on the hand. And then applied the water. And sort of manoeuvred the paintbrush in a way that I wanted to. To try and get this um, textured thing here. I mean, I tried to get it like a highlight here. I don't know if I've succeeded that. But yes, I really like the texture. It looks like rotting flesh. And that's what you need in a severed hand. Um, I just left the bone plain. And tried to do those blood splatters unsuccessfully. And the box is just metallic ink and that's the graphitint yes i'm quite pleased with that um monster so i was thinking about doing a pterodactyl but i had an idea in mind to do an art doll because i make rats and this is the form of the body that i usually go with and like clear arms and legs so I thought this would look cool. Uh, mohair body, clear nose and arms and legs. But Gabby said it's so cute. It doesn't look like a monster. But I think it's the pink that makes it look cute. And I used, uh, what did I use for this? Um, <clears throat> I think that was ink. Yeah. That was ink and that was a marker and I put it on um, acrylic paper 
I don't normally use like you know to do paintings on acrylic paper so I'm thinking to myself now because it's so hard wearing it'll be brilliant for inks and markers because it doesn't buckle the paper and it doesn't bleed through so I'm pretty pretty pleased with Monster right next one orca pay I've been wanting to draw a one of these for quite a while they're just so cute and when I sketched it out and I was just about to transfer it on the watercolour I thought they don't have horns do they but apparently the male ones have horns and the female ones don't so but they're, they're just like horns you know like what a giraffe would have yes yeah, so I've used brown ink for the body and for the stripes I just used a micron yeah because I didn't dare get on a paintbrush with a black because I knew I'd ruin it so yes I'm pretty pleased with that uh flight pause you for a second so this is my art gecko pad absolutely love this paper so hard wearing doesn't buckle takes markers inks paint whatever so this design I come up with for a scrawler box. We got some markers and I just, I couldn't achieve the results that I wanted to. That just didn't turn out right. And a few people said I should try to do my piggies again because they were so cute. We're using a different medium. So I did. I've used, what's that? Ink and... Oh, Pintor. Pinto. Yeah, we got some in a scrawler box. Uh, Pintor markers, neons, and I just hated them. But now I absolutely love them. Yes, I just sketched it in my book, traced it on here, went round with a micron for the lines, and just added the colour. So, pretty pleased with that. Um... Oh, where are we up to now? That was flight. Dinosaur, that's in here as well. Where are you, dinosaur? There, on the other side. Yeah, so this is, a, I think it was a raptor. Or something like that. And I just wanted to put a lot of jazzy colour on. So I added the red ink, uh, blue marker, I put a uh, green ink down the legs and then went over it in, was there a pencil or a marker? I can't remember. Yes, but I'm quite pleased the way that turned out and I might just turn it into an art doll because he looks so cute. Right, so what are we on to now? 23 booger in the uk we call it a bogey or snot so i seen this when i went to i was in my toilet and i seen it on the wall my wallpaper is like all ripped off and it's just i keep on meaning to do it but i just find all these interesting shapes in and i get loads of ideas from looking at ripped wallpaper and I've seen this first, I mean, it had a hat on it, like a, a fairy's hat, but I wasn't going to add that. So I just uh, added this, like, it's like, it look, reminds me of a mod. And when were the mods? In the 1970s or 80s, can't remember. But I just thought I'd put like a bit of a Mohique in there and big snotters hanging out of his nose. Yes, so that's him. Um, zombie. I think that's in me, Art uh, Gecko. There. Zombie. Yes, I'm pretty pleased with him. I don't draw many uh, figures. I just sketched his uh, body out and then drew claws over the top and shredded. Um, and just in like a little brain sticking out. I love the expression. Um, what did I use for this? I put a white ink. Was it white ink? White marker. And then mixed it with a bit of, a tiny bit of black. So it looks like a, like a grey colour. 
like dead flesh. Um, yeah, so that's him. Uh, spotty. So I just drew a little rubber ducky. I wanted to draw one of these. They're pretty basic. Just do a few shapes. So I just put uh, yellow ink mixed with loads of water because I wanted to put the pink pinto over the top and I didn't think it would stand out against the bright yellow. So yes, that's the rubber ducky. Um, harping. Oh, this was funny. <laughs> yeah, so I was looking at Katie Riles' uh, channel and she uh, sketched a harpy, which was amazing. So in one of the prompt lists, there was um, mythical creatures and things and harpy. So I put that on my Inktober list. Um, and as I say, as you can tell, I'm not, um, don't draw many figures, but uh, it was quite fun to draw the feathers. Um, what colour was the, oh, the feathers, I used uh, a very light blue watercolour pencil and it looks like an off-white. Yeah, so that was fun to draw. <laughs> <laughs> it looks naked. I should have put some feathers on its body. <laughs> um, what's this? Giraffe. Oh, yeah. I sketched this giraffe about two years ago in my sketchbook. So I just reworked it a bit. And I just love this colour paint. It's from their expensive paint. But I got it in a sale. Qua. I can't remember what it's called. But absolutely stunning it is. And when I'd finished it, I just love the texture of the paint and the way it's positioned itself on the paper. Just gorgeous. So I couldn't bring myself to add um, the pattern, the marks to the um, giraffe. So it's an alien giraffe and I just love it. Right, camping. There we go. Um... I recently read in a book, it's uh, to improve your drawing, try to do a sketch that's like, what was it, five seconds, ten seconds, and go up and up and up. Anyway, I chose to do two minutes because there's no way I'd have been able to do that in five seconds. So when you have a ton of time, it's pretty stressful trying to uh, come out. I mean, that's in pen. Me first attempt, I done it in pencil. To see how quick I could do it. So the second, uh, or was it my third attempt? Probably my fourth attempt. And I just use a micron to quickly draw this. And I mean, it is quite basic, but just by looking at the little doodle, you can see where it is. Camping, a tent and a campfire. I was going to add something else. I can't remember what was it. Something I was going to add and I forgot. So, I think I'll do a few more of these in the future. Five minute sketch or whatever. It's pretty fun. Um, What are we on to now? Oh, I can, I can never pronounce this. Oh, it's a Miat Gecko. There it is. A Sata. Sata. I can never pronounce it. Um, Yes, yeah, so... I just sketched this out and went over it in the Micron Liner and... I'm not sure how to do its body. I mean, I know it's covered in fur and stuff, but I thought if I, like, rush it because I was, like, so rushed with Inktober, I'd ruin it. So I thought I'd just leave it for now and then go back to him later. Hmm. So that's him. Um, Flask. Jeez Louise, it took ages to find that. I should have used those little um, sticky note things. Um, yeah, so this is Flask and I thought I would do like a Bunsen burner and like a flask, a glass flask, the one those lab flasks, uh, brewing some uh, crazy concoction. Um, and I just uh, thought it looked all right like that. I didn't want to add colour. I mean, if I was to add colour, this would be green. But I just thought it looked 
pretty all right like that. I think I'll try and do it again and do it um, like a two minute, see how far I can get with that, a five minute. Yeah, that's an idea. So teeth, I think this is in me art gecko. Yes. Teeth. I was thinking about doing an art doll like this. Um, maybe it's clear, maybe it's just like a plushy thing with clear teeth and a clear tongue. I'm not sure. And I just left him plain um, with a green eyeball and gold teeth. I was going to do them like an off uh, white, like a yellowy colour, but they'd look pretty gross. I just thought it'd look fabulous with gold ink teeth. So that's them. So I've been gabbing on now for half an hour, so I'm sure you've all gone to sleep. So unorganised. So what I will do is I will do another video of me Scrawlatorba. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.